Hello and welcome to Playtech TV. My name is Greg and today we're looking at the incredible ASUS PG279Q. The ASUS PG279Q is a 27 inch 1440p monitor so that gives it 109 ppi so a very nice dense sharp image we've got here it can go up to 165 hertz that's right 165 and it has nvidia g-sync technology built in now this is a monitor aimed at hardcore gamers but it also has 100 percent srgb coverage so it makes it pretty good for design work and photography and things like that i wouldn't recommend it for someone who is solely a photographer or a designer but if you're a gamer who also dabbles in a bit of that, then it's actually gonna be a really good all-rounder monitor. It also has some great low blue light features, which make it really easy on the eyes. So with a monitor like this, which is absolutely incredible, you're gonna to wanna to be in front of it all the time. So there's no problem there. So let's talk about this 165 Hertz. Most monitors these days are only 60 Hertz. That means they can only display 60 images per second. Whereas the ASUS PG279Q here can actually display up to 165 images per second. That's really, really fast. And that's quite a lot better than most of the other flagship uh, high-end gaming monitors at the moment. A lot of them cap out at 120 or 144 hertz. So this is really, really cool. Now, even though you may be displaying so many frames every second, you can still get tearing through the image if your GPU isn't delivering the image in sync with the refresh rate. If you find this happening, then you can enable a feature called G-Sync. G-Sync synchronizes your refresh rate with your frame rate. So if you notice your frame rate dipping and you're getting tearing and stuttering, then enable G-Sync and it'll smooth it out completely. However, if you do have a monster setup that doesn't drop frames, there's actually another cool option on there called ULMB, which is Ultra Low Motion Blur. And it, it's actually really, really cool. What it does is it locks you into 85, 100, or 120 hertz, but it gives you a very clean, sharp image, which is amazing for lining up headshots and things like that in FPS games. Now, ULMB and G-Sync cannot be used at the same time. They kind of, uh, they almost cancel each other out, really. But what I would recommend would be, if you've got a absolute monster system and you're just having a trouble with um, motion blur, even with G-Sync on, if things still look a little bit blurry, then I would actually switch over to ULMB, drop down to 120 hertz. Whereas if you're actually having um, trouble actually making over um, 60 FPS in most games, then you're probably actually better to switch to G-Sync so that when the actual frame rate drops down, instead of getting that weird like sort of um, tearing kind of uh, gross sort of look, then it was actually gonna lock them in together. So it's still gonna look smooth. The frame rate will still drop, but it will look very, very smooth. Now the on-screen display on the PG279Q is one of the best and easiest to use that I've ever seen, really. The ROG monitors have always done really well in this respect. Essentially what we've got is a little joystick on the back that allows us to navigate through all the menus. It also has several color profiles aimed at different game genres, which emphasize different colors to make things pop out a little bit more in games. To be honest, I had a bit of a play around with these, but I ended up just settling in on the default and the sRGB settings for most of my time with this monitor. The monitor also features some really cool gaming overlays, um, including a crosshair, a timer, and an FPS counter, um, which is actually pretty cool. It sounds a little bit gimmicky, but it is actually a really nice feature there. Now back to what I was saying earlier about the PG279Q being really easy on the eyes. Basically, it's flicker-free and low blue light. So you actually have settings on here where you can reduce the blue light up to 70%. So you can kind of flick through different degrees of reduction. So 70% would be great for playing like in a really dark environment. If you're up all night playing or something like that, or even reading or programming or something like that, it's going to be really good. Whereas if it's just kind of um, you know general all day use or something like that, and you're not too fussed about the um, the color accuracy sort of going a little bit off, then um, the 20% setting is actually really good as well, um, I've found. Now, flicker is another problem that seems to give a lot of people some grief. Basically, it's when you can kind of see the backlight pulsing in the monitor. Um, it's usually more noticeable in older monitors that are kind of on their way out or whatever. But basically what we've got here is a flicker free monitor. So it looks nice and clear. So if you are one of those people that get like migraines and headaches from flicker and monitors, don't worry about that. The PG279Q is a really, really nice monitor. Now let's talk about the actual design of the PG279Q. So basically I can tell ASUS have put a lot of thought into this. 
So we've got a very nice stand here. It can be rotated, it can be turned around and flipped around in all kinds of directions. You would never need to prop it up on a phone book or anything like that. This is a very, very slick monitor in that respect and just absolutely on point for that ROG hardcore gamer aesthetic. We've got plenty of connectivity around the back here and ASUS have even beefed up the heat sinks and the cooling on the back to ensure that when you are cranking that 165 hertz, you're not going to have any issues with the, 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 the chip overheating or anything like that. It's just not going to be a problem whatsoever. Now I want to address an issue that I've seen a lot of talk about online and that's the backlight bleed of these ASUS PG279Q monitors. A lot of people have been saying that ASUS have had some problems with their QC on these and that they've been seeing a lot of models with uh, excessive backlight bleed. I would say that's not entirely accurate because backlight bleed is something that's inherent to the kind of technology used and if you look at any other of these high-end monitors, the high-end IPS high refresh rate monitors like the Acer Predator, um, they have the same issues. I think singling out ASUS for this problem is a little bit unfair. Let's think about this rationally. I mean, here at the shop, we sell probably 10 times as many of these as any other high-end uh, gaming monitor. So, of course, there's gonna be more people out there saying, oh, hey, look, I ran into this problem, or hey, I had this issue, or something like that. It's just because, let's be honest, they've nailed the market, like they're owning it right now. So there's 10 times as many out there so that small percentage of people who have problems it's going to seem a little bit bigger obviously people who have bad experiences are a little bit more likely to speak out about it now don't let that put you off because all of these monitors the Acer Predator the ASUS PG279Q they're all amazing they're all incredible monitors and they all do have the same um, backlight bleed but realistically it's not so much of an issue I mean it's something that most people just never even realize. I can understand that people get a bit freaked out when splashing out on a high-end monitor like this, especially if they've never seen an IPS in person before and they don't sort of get the little bit of a glow and the backlight bleed and stuff like that, which is just inherent to the technology. Um, so it can be a little bit scary splashing down money and feeling like you're sort of getting into this crazy gamble of um, a good monitor or a bad monitor or anything like that, but don't let it put you off. They're all amazing monitors and a little bit of backlight bleed is essentially the price we pay for having everything else on these monitors flawless. And don't forget that ASUS have one of the best warranty uh, procedures around compared to a lot of the other manufacturers. They are very, very easy with that kind of stuff. So um, if you do have some actual serious problems, just give them a buzz. The guys will sort it out. There's no problems there. And that brings us to our conclusion. And if you haven't guessed already, I think this monitor is amazing. It blows pretty much everything else out of the water. And I feel like at this point in time, it's probably the best gaming monitor in the world. So amazing color, incredible refresh rate, um, it's easy on the eyes, it looks amazing, it's got a great stand, um, you can't beat it. I'm really, 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 really impressed with this monitor. Thanks for watching, that's Playtech TV, I'll see you next week.